Whether you are looking at getting into construction or already work within the industry, you may have heard of and perhaps come across both quantity surveyors and building surveyors, but many of you may wonder if there are any differences in the roles and responsibilities of the two professions, and if so, what exactly are these differences? Well, if you want these questions answered to make a career path decision or simply gain a better understanding of the two, you're in the right place, so keep watching. If you are enjoying our videos, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to receive alerts when we upload new content every week. To put it simply, building surveyors focus more on the technical side of both the property and construction sectors. Meanwhile, quantity surveyors deal with the financial side of the construction industry, making sure every project is cost effective. Both are covered and can be a member of RICS and can be invaluable team members on a construction project. So let's take a deeper look. We are going to start with some of the most common responsibilities of building surveyors. These include surveying properties, identifying structural faults and providing recommendations for essential repairs, assessing damage following a fire or flood for insurance purposes, establishing who is responsible for building repair costs, advising clients on issues such as property boundary disputes, inspecting properties to make sure that they meet building regulations and fire safety and accessibility standards, dealing with planning applications and with improvement or conservation grants. The main roles and responsibilities of quantity surveyors on the other hand more commonly include studying drawings and specifications about a new building which are usually provided by architects or engineers. They must use their strong financial, analytical, interpretive skills to ensure the smooth running of projects. Calculating the materials, time and labour costs of a project. Preparing, negotiating and analysing costs for project contracts. Use their good interpersonal skills and abilities to organise teams. Advise on a range of legal and contractual issues. And valuing completed work and arranging for payments to be made or preparing applications for payment to be submitted to clients. So as you can see from the roles and responsibilities, a typical day at the office is likely to look pretty different for building surveyors and quantity surveyors. A great way to look at it is that the information gathered by building surveyors at construction sites will be used to prepare contract and tender documentation and advise the client before construction commences. In turn, these documents will then be given to the quantity surveyor so they can use the information to prepare bills of quantities and take the project further through pricing and cost management throughout. Quantity surveyors are also extremely likely to be involved after projects during the final accounting stage. If you are looking at the two professions with the intention of pursuing one as a career, then quantity surveying could potentially be a better fit for someone who sees themselves as more of an office person. They spend most of their time working independently or in their clients' offices with minimal time on the construction site. In contrast, building surveyors are in the thick of things, typically on site with less hours in the office. The most important thing to note, however, is that generally every major construction project will require a building and quantity surveyor for it to be a successful one, and both promote very competitive and good salaries on average, depending on level of experience. Matrone, a commercial hub to your business.